Hello, hello, hello again. It's me, as always, Josh. And um, this time, we have a three-player game on France. It's me, Emmett's One, whom I'm sure you've seen in plenty of uh, our videos here at this point. And... Love It 47. Love It is a player who had been on BSW some years ago, but hasn't been in a while, so they just played a game before this one to relearn the interface and the rules of Power Grid. So, they're learning. So, Emmett's bids $7 for the 4 plant. This is a plant that can easily go for 8 or 9 in, like, 4, you know, larger games, you know, 4, 5, 6 player games. But in 3 player, the 4 is quite a bit weaker, because it puts you in a worse position for turn 2. And... I will bid 4 for the 3 plant. Because I want to get the bottom of the turn order. Oh, Lovett actually bids on the three. Okay. Um, sure. <sighs> yeah. I'll take the eight. The eight is a really good deal in three player because with the five not in the game, the eight gets some uh, pretty cheap coal for turn one. And it also means, you know, the, the 8 gets hurt less. It hurts, it, like, it means that you make a good bit more money from running the 8 on the first two turns with no second plant. Since coal is cheaper for you. And again, because it's the France map, plant 13 is removed from the game. And 11 is always the first plant drawn after 10. And you can see that uranium starts out at only 5 on France. Okay, where would I want to build? So this leaves me with 35. I can't think of any build I would want where the connection cost would, would be more than nine, but I can think of builds where it would cost exactly nine. So I wanna make sure to leave myself with uh, 29 in the coffers for my opening build. You wanna build two cities with the eight plants. You just, like like the reason you get the eight is, is the early money-making advantage over the three and the four and the five as well in larger games. Eight makes a lot more money in the first two turns than three or four does. You know, any well, three, four, five, any of those, I mean. Lovett does a single build in Paris, which is a very reasonable call. Because um it's good to angle for bottom of the turn order. I think it's pretty decent, although I'm not sure how important it is here. Exactly, because you could buy the nine, drop your opponent the ten, and that wouldn't be too bad. Orleans Le Mans, I like that play. For me, though, I think I have to do double Paris. Because I can expand three different directions out of Paris. Rouen, Amiens, and Reims, any of those will lead to a bunch of cities. So actually, I could have stored even a sixth coal. Had I known that... Uh, had I known that uh, double Paris would be left open, usually building all three of these par of these uh, quote unquote cities that make up Paris is a common build with the three plant. Anyway, I have no reason to buy any of this shit. So, this is the standard play you make with the eight with the plant eight in three player. You pass on plants turn two. You make other players buy plants. Emmett's is in a tough spot. I think the play for Emmett's is either, okay, the, the five is reasonable for turn order purposes, and then you're going to drop the 10 for Love It, which the 10 is pretty sweet in that situation. Emmett's will get to go to the bottom of the turn order for next turn, though, which, um, that's okay in this market. Like, 11 is going to be a big fight. There's going to be a big fight for the 11 plant because uranium is going to be down to three, 
only costing three to power two cities by the time we uh, get to bid on this plant next turn. And then 19 after that is very bad news for whoever misses out on the 11. In that situation with 21 behind it, if who, who basically whoever, after, after the 11 auction is over, then it should be passed to the last player in the auction who should then buy the 9, I think. Just because there will be a need to move the market um, to prevent the player with 11 from running away with the money lead. Anyway, if I see 42 was drawn, 21, 19, yeah, okay. So. so Lovett's taking their time because they need to think of how much coal they want to buy. And they're thinking of how many resources they can get and still build a second city. Which I think for them, if, okay, if I were... Let me think about this. I just need one more coal this turn. This is why I wanted to store as much extra coal as I could last turn, because it's not going to stay cheap for long. I was going to say, Ruin makes the most sense for Love It here. And now I'm not going to build because that will take me down to the middle spot in the turn order as opposed to the top. If I built a third city, I would have the most cities of anyone and thus be in the worst turn order spot, which is very, very bad for me. 25 comes on. Okay. Um, sure. I was a little surprised Lovett passed there. Lovett absolutely should have put the 11 up for bid. 14. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I just dominated that auction then. That was 14 and now 17 have come on. This is fantastic news for me. Because now I'm at a big advantage in terms of plants here. And it's going to take probably a couple more turns for us to, for anyone to get a chance at a plant like 21 there. 21 and 21 and 25 like those are the monsters sitting there in the market at this point but yeah th with these bad plants coming it's gonna take a while to get there so that is an advantage to me for sure I think what I should do here is not build again this turn I will store one coal just to make it a little more painful for love it here take the last four dollar coal here but i don't need to build this turn i think my play this turn is stay below love it in the turn order because i think love it will build a third city i think that's the play here well, actually, no, no. I have to, I have to stay at two to force Lovett to with the decision on the next turn. Like Lovett has all that oil stored, and I feel like they want to use it, so there is incentive for them to build into Amiens or Rames. Yep. It's Kane! And now to what I like about, I really like Emmett's build here because now it's going to pressure Lovett to go into Le Havre before either of these gateway cities in brown that I'm considering here. So, 
the issue is this. I don't want to keep running the plant eight and going high in the turn order to power cities inefficiently. So I'd much rather stay at two with my hyper efficient 11 plant right now. That's what I would do. But I really, really like that Emmett's is threatening Le Havre here because that should be the next city Lovett takes. So I think Lovett's not going to completely block me in brown, which is what I'm looking for here. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely pass on that, for sure. Uranium restock rate only stays at one per game the whole way. So... Obviously, I'm not going to touch any of these worthless plants right now. Anyway, 50 and 44 both came on. And those are the two highest number plants left, so we know that those will be the next two plants to go under the deck. So this is all like standard step three plants here. There haven't been any really low number ones that are going to go under. And probably won't be with 50 and 44 there acting as a buffer over the next two turns to prevent plants like a 28 or 29 from going under. Which remember again, for those who don't know, it's the highest numbered plant in the futures market. That gets taken under the deck and will not come back until, until step three, the step three card is drawn. At which point all the plants that are under the deck uh, get reshuffled and that's your market for the end of the game. situation the situation mm -hmm. and love it buys 19 which is a uh, that's the sort of thing that a newer player tends to do in that scenario it's oh i even get a three dollar call mm -hmm. i'm definitely buying two uranium because only one comes back in per turn so i want to get it now while it's cheaper so 17 doesn't get it as cheap Um, the question is, do I want to build to four this turn? Because now 21 is on the market. 38, 44. Wow, 38 too. That's another one of the highest number of plants left. Um, I need to see what Love It builds. But yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. I guess there is kind of an argument for 19 in that you want to move the market, but actually I think 6 would have been a better choice than 19 because 6 is kind of an efficient sidekick plant rather than a main plant. Alright, so I can get into both of these areas here, which is good news for me. And I definitely want to store all this coal. I want to store as much coal as I can because of 21 and 25 both potentially coming in the next turn. At least I got to run eight at like a halfway decent price one more time. 50 goes under 31 will be in now decent number of bad plants that can block uh, 20 here still 
well, like, 18 and 22 are okay. 23 and 24 would be really bad. Um, those came. 12, awful. 15 is awful. 16, a little better than 15, but still not what you're looking for here. But yeah, 19 is just not a good plant to buy this early in the game because you're making trash more expensive each turn that you run it. But yeah, I will toss in some bids on 21 for sure here. This should go for over 30, I think. Because here's the thing, like you may think that with 25 in the futures market that you wouldn't want to pay as much for 21. Here's the thing though, do you think you're going to win the auction for the 25? Do you think you're going to win that auction? If you don't think you're gonna win that, then it, it behooves you to fight a little harder for 21 then. So that's what you need to think about here. How your money compares to your opponents and just think, will I be the one who wins the big plant here? Okay. That might be a little too cheap, but we'll see. This should go for close to 40. All right. I can live with the 18 drop there. I need to keep attacking Emmets because they have the efficiency advantage here. Uh, I need to think about this though. Six. The nice thing is coal should stay fairly cheap with Emmett's running no coal at all here. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about this. Do I want the game to stall? I think a stall would favor me right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm not going to buy Yeah, just two extra coal here. No need for me to buy extra uranium yet. And I'm going to take Calais. I'll take that with for the uh, the extra coal here. I do think that a jump into Emmett's area would be uh, would be a bigger advantage for Lovett than a jump into this brown corner here. Since the brown corner is not the cheapest thing, and then it corners you, whereas this gives you more options to expand in step two, getting into Rins and Andres if possible. Although Lovett, I'm pretty sure, is not going to have that kind of money. You know, after buying 19 and then paying for 21. The nice thing is, keeping the resources cheap will definitely play to the favor of the 25 over the 21. Because like 21, normally one of the big advantages of a plant like 21 is that, um, is just simply the fact that it, you, you can use oil on it. And there's often times when there's a lot of coal being burned and not much oil, so 21 can gain a major efficiency advantage over a plant like 25. But that does not appear likely to happen in this game. And yeah, no re there's no need for me to stock an extra uranium yet. And 15, this is what I was looking for, the market stall. I was actually kind of hoping Emmett's would buy 15. But I think the play for me now is just to stall here. And Lovett can jump into this if they want. I'll put the pressure on Lovett to jump into here, get the seven cities, and break the stall. Because... Well, I don't know. Actually, I might make more money per turn than Amitz does. Though Amitz does get the first build for step two uh, in the current situation. Well, assuming that Lovett will, like, jump somewhere this turn. Though Lovett could just stall at four. That's a possibility as well. What I think I do here, uh, like, I don't know, it's just... I want to move the market, man. Not with 31 on deck. I do not want to move the market with 31 on deck. I want more time to rebuild my money after paying for 25. Life does get a lot easier for the 25 when one player is not using coal at all in a three-player game. That's for sure. So I'm very happy with my position right now. Plus I can afford to keep this uranium on 11 for a while because 8 is obviously the next plant I'm going to replace. And there's the coal buy. Take the last four dollar coal here. And that's what I was looking at. Okay, sure. Well, now this just creates even less of a reason for me to stall, and also it does mean it was a little bit of a waste of money to buy that four coal when I could have waited another turn for coal to get cheaper. Because supply chart, four coal come back in the game, I could have gotten an extra $3 coal on the next turn. But 
as long as resources stay this cheap, although Love, I mean, Love It's gonna burn a lot of stuff. Although it seems like Love It is kind of mixing, using 21 as an oil plant, which makes me very happy. 38 goes under next. 30, 31, 33, 34 comes on. Okay. 14, 15, 23. I missed 23. Emmett's could break a stall. Emmett's could take 15 here. I might have actually bought 15 in Emmett's shoes over the 9. Because it's uh, pretty bad not to attack coal here. I'm making sure to buy no more than six coal at a time, so that way I wouldn't I wouldn't be forced to leave any on the eight if I replace it, since twenty five can only store four coal at a time. Twenty-two, continuing the market stall here. I like my position because I have by far the best plant out of anybody at this point. Because coal's staying cheap enough that twenty-five is easily crushing twenty-one in terms of money making, and not to mention the fact that twenty-five is a plant you can keep for the whole game very easily. Whereas twenty with twenty-one, there's a chance that you'll have to replace it by the end of the game. And plus I have, you know, 11 as a decent sidekick plant for whenever we get to step two. Love it needs to trigger step two, I think. Like, they're stuck at the top of the turn order anyway. So I think the best move for them is just build that seventh city, trigger step two before everybody else makes even more money, and get 14 off the market there, which, you, which triggering step two removes the lowest number plant from the game. So you move 14 off and, and get a chance at something big. Yeah. I'm glad that 30 showed up too. That's a uh, that's going to keep 31 off the market a good bit longer, I think. Plus we have a lot of lower actually the majority of the deck left is below 30 in number. So there's actually a reasonable chance that we'll never see 31 before step 3. Which again would further play to my favor. I don't want more big coal plants in the game. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I'm in a I think I'm in a strong position here. And Emmett's is in a competitive position too. But the problem is that coal is staying cheap enough that Emmett's isn't really gaining this massive efficiency advantage over the big coal plant here. I don't know why Love It bought trash. Interesting move. They must be planning to build, right? And just run 21 and 19? Like, why else would you buy trash here? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, um, I'm very glad Lovitz did not uh, didn't build the seventh city there. I want the game to stall. I want the game to stall. Thank you very much. I want the game to stall. Thirty-four goes under in is thirty-six. 
So that's, uh, we now officially know that all three of the seven capacity plants are in this game. I'm really glad that I can stay below Lovett because I want to see if Lovett gets desperate and buys one of these plants. Yeah, I don't know why Lovett's bought trash last turn if they weren't going to use it. I thought to me, like, like Lovett, Lovett buying trash signaled that they were going to build a 7 and then run 21 plus 19, but that didn't happen, so. Sure. Sure. Okay, there we go. Now Emmett's finally does what they should have done, like, however many turns ago. Yeah, I like this. I like this play right here. Because this allows them to stay bottom in the turn order, and now they can actually attack our coal. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, now coal's going to get more expensive. So, that's good to see. What's interesting is, even though I haven't bought the second, I had never used the second uranium I bought in the 11 when I first got it. Or rather, not when I first got it, but when uh, when Amets first bought 17, I bought two uranium. Even though I did not, haven't used the second uranium yet, it's cost Amets enough extra money just by making their uranium $1 more expensive each turn that it's actually, I think, a net positive play for me if you look at my money versus Amets' money. Just for me buying this uranium and never even using it. Which I will use it during uh, during step two for sure. Love it buying more trash. Huh. Okay. There we go. Now Love it's doing what they should have done last turn. Oh, and they're even jumping over here. Huh. Okay. Oh, so they're going to run all their plants. Okay. 26 came in. That's good to know. Keep 25 fully stocked. 36 under, 37 is in. And this is interesting now because 30 is not a plant I want to buy here. I don't even want to touch it with friggin' 19 in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's two more plants left to be drawn before the step three card. Actually, no, wait, one more because 32 just came in. Okay. One more plant left after this before step three card. So I will bid for the 26 here. Emmett's just passes right away on 26. Interesting. Like, there's a very, very low chance that 31 gets onto the market. Sure. 24 is it. Okay. See, the situation is, on the one hand, this isn't the greatest in terms of base capacity because we're going to go to step three and like a five and a five is not ideal. But here's the thing. I got 26 rather cheap and it's going to make good money. Like I need to make a lot of money this turn. So 
So there actually was, never mind. I should have realized that with the step three card coming that 31 was had a good chance of showing up. But I think, you know, I think I paid a little less than 30 or around 30 for the 26 plant. And what that means is that it's going to make me money because I will use the 26 for the rest of the game. Like 25 is the plant that will be replaced if I do end up replacing one of the five. So 26 will have me, you know, I'll have two turns running the 26 and 25 together where... 26 will make me money. That's why I bought it. Like, I paid less for that plant than Lovett did for the 21. So it should, I, it might even just straight up make a profit for me in, what I was gonna say, in two turns, I was gonna say, yeah, two turns. In two turns, it might make a, um, the 26 could very well make a profit for me, and that's not even factoring in that it would make the end game easier if step three were to last longer. Although, with the money I've built up here, I do think there's a chance that... There's a chance here that... I could end the game on the next turn, maybe? If Emmett's knows what they're doing, though, they'll try to build into Lovitz's stuff as much as possible, rather than mine. Well, well, I mean, they'll take all of Paris here, but... Yep. This is exactly what Emmett's should be doing. If they leave Amiens open for me, though... Okay, so they're building up to the top. That's great news for me, because this means I can build to 12 and stay below Emmett's in the turn order, which is fantastic for me. All right. Well, I'll build these to make them a little less appetizing for Emmets, that's for sure. At least they get to finally burn that uranium I've been storing forever on the 11. All right. I'm just questioning whether to go for Wrens or... I know, I know Strasbourg, I, Strasbourg I could take next turn since I'll build before Emmett, so yeah, Wrens is clearly the play here. Because then I'll have the one more city left in Paris that's a $20 spot. So I get Paris, which is 20. Strasbourg is 25. Then, uh... And then I'll go for, like, this Amiens, Ruins, Le Havre, like, track. That's where, I, where I'll finish. Is, like, Paris and then, like, these four would be my cheapest cities left. If I were to go for 18... We know Paris, Strasbourg, then just go down the line with these. Yeah. Well, we get uh, we get two good six capacity plants on the market here. Uh, let's do math on this because love it's gonna build. So Kane will be... Okay, let me think about this.
Let's think here. I don't think I'll be able to end the game this turn, so the play for me will be to go for 18. I think that's what's happening here. Because all the six plants are left in the deck, so that it should not be too hard for me to achieve that thing there. Um, Strasbourg, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make the play for 18 to win this game, which means I want to go for one of these efficient six capacity plants here. I want to go for these efficient plants over the more expensive, the less efficient seven capacity plants. I want to close the game with the seven rather than getting the seven on this turn. And this should go for a really good price, I think. Got to mark off 50 is out. This is our remaining market. Love it's bowing out too early. Forty-two. Ooh, this could make fifty a nice bidding war. Which could mean that I could end up getting a good value on the on the thirty-nine. If he gets the 50, if Amitz gets the damn 50 without any fight here, that's going to piss me off. Right? What? 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 The hell? What the hell? And you buy 42. Great. Uh, What I can do here this turn is this. Okay. One, two, three. Three cities. I'm just glad I end up getting a pretty decent builds overall in this game. I got a good number of the cheaper step two spots. That makes me feel good. The 50 pisses me off, though. That should have been bid up. As dicey as all these resources here are looking. <sighs> Amos is going to come back and win this game, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's going to happen. I need to think about something. <sighs> no, this 
this is okay, this is okay. I think I just do this thing though. I'm gonna end up having to replace the 25. This is gonna suck. Emmett's is actually gonna come back and win, I think. I don't know though. I think the play for me here is this. I think this is the play for me. Play the turn order game, just gamble, and like try to gamble that Emmett's can't end the game. If you can end the game right now, then more power to you. Because staying below in the turn order, Emmett's is now guaranteed to stay top, so they will not be able to fire the 31 this turn if they can't end the game. And I'm going to gamble that they can't. All right, that paid off. So now that's gonna hurt their money because they won't be able to fire 31. So let's check this. They're firing eight cities. Eight cities for 90 um, plus 129. So they'd be missing out on you know 39 minus the cost of coal, which is a decent, oh my God. Oh my God, they actually fired 31. Um, Holy shit. Um, um, what this tells me is, okay, how much coal is coming back? Let me check this. It's three, right? One, two, three. So then, okay, if I fire 25, here's what I think we do. What I think we do is this. Go for, yeah, go for 36 or 46. I can get either one of those plants. Yeah, I think this is the play now. I think this is the play now. Because I go to the bottom of the turn order. So thus I can do this. I need to calculate shit out here. All right, 46 gone. So 44 and 38, last two left. Here's what I need to think about in this situation. Okay, because I need five more cities. Cheapest cities are uh, Paris, Strasbourg, that's 25. Uh, two, then three, four, five. Plus uranium, plus one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, Five. There's no more six cat plants left for them. Like, I'm really surprised Amitz is buying this and not 32. 32 would be the most effective way for them to get to 18.
Okay. Or maybe I could actually do this. I'm trying to figure out. Well, I don't want this. I don't want 46. Let's see what Emmett's does. Because coal is a danger here with 36 lurking. What I want to see is if Emmett's replaces a 31. If they replace the 31, then I just win the game, I think. And replacing 31 would be the safest option for them here. Okay, they're going to gamble. All right. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the coal. Then one, two, three, four, five. So I can't end the game this way. Here's the problem. I'm not going to trust Emmett's in this situation. So here's what I have to do to prolong the game. What this tells me is, I don't think Lovett can end the game. I don't think Lovett can end the game here. I wasted resources too, actually. This is pretty dumb. Yeah, I have to do it this way. Build over my freaking oil. So Emmett's will only be able to power 13 cities. All right, so love it can't end the game either. All right, I think this is a winning spot for me. The issue is Amits can buy the 32 next turn, but love it can will also need that plant. And then love it, I expect, should stay below me, yeah. This means that I can only fire 25 and 39.
just to be safe here. Yes! 32 is out of the game. That's actually great news. Wow. This means there's only one plant and they can go for here. The problem is, getting to 19 is a real possibility for Emmett, so they might win the game. That's unfortunate. Yep, good win. All right, so Emmett's actually gets to 19. Good win, good win. Did what we could to stop it, but maybe 26 was the mistake for me, huh? Hmm. This is an interesting game. I'm not sure what's wrong here because I feel like 25 was fantastic for me. I'm not sure maybe 26 was the point where it went wrong, I guess. Or just the game, I guess maybe just the game lasting long enough that Amitz's could, you know, work the efficiency advantage more as coal got more expensive and build up the money to make the comeback. Hmm. Not sure what to do in that scenario. Probably passing on 26 and taking 30 could have been better. Even though 30 doesn't make the money, it means that I only need to buy one more plant after that. Anyway, uh, congrats to Emmett's. Good, good game, and uh, see you later.